What is up, YouTube family? Welcome to another video, guys. Uh, well, we done did it. We done did it. We had to. The market is increasing so fast on these Porsche 911s that uh, just just had to get a 996. Had to do it. So details: one owner till 114,000 miles. I bought it now from the second owner at 126,000 for 138. 4 as you can see the 4 meaning all wheel drive Carrera 4 convertible I'm doing the first oil change because this is this is what tells you you know about the IMS is there metal in the oil metals uh, the um, oil is completely clean which makes sense because if this was a one owner car and you can you can tell from just I'll show you the interior. If this is a one owner car and he had it till 114,000 miles, that means that he did the IMS bearing. And I'm sure when the guy was selling it, people are asking, is it done, is it done? All you have to do is do the first oil change and you'll know. And then really, you know, by looking at the title, it says number one, one owner till 114,000. Who would keep a car in this condition? Okay, driver's seat. The only thing that's a wear item is the dash needs to be replaced, the leather wrapped dash. But the English blokes make really nice ones. It's the only thing that needs really replacing on the interior. But I noticed this glass will go down, but that glass will not come up. So I'm not even attempting to mess with the convertible because this car already I can already see the issues and I have an SL55 AMG that I'm kind of comparing it to and there's just no comparison this is a Volkswagen at the end of the day so here's what doesn't work the headlights the headlights don't work and I already replaced the switch and they still don't work so I replaced the headlight switch behind here Still nothing from the headlights, so maybe it's the bulbs. I don't know. What else is not working? Fuel gauge. Fuel gauge shows zero, pretty much. Now that now that the ass is in the air, now it now it actually shows something. But what I do want to show you, I just want to show you the oil filter. On 126,000 miles, I'm gonna spread out the the wings of the filter here. And I'll show you. I'll show you just how clean and how metal free that oil is, which means your IMS is completely intact. Your engine is completely intact. It sounds perfectly healthy. Absolutely sounds perfectly healthy. Okay, so for anyone, you know, you're out there, you're looking for one of these cars. Prices are skyrocketing. I got mine for 13.8, just off of its second owner. I knew he didn't change the oil. So here's another thing on the Porsches, right? So you're looking, you're looking how far gone is it? Well, how far gone is it? The, the telltale point of where or is right here. These cans will rust out. They are already. That's the beginnings. But sometimes these will be completely gone. You know. And uh, my other side is a little probably worse. But those can be redone. Those can be removed. They're there. They're not making any puffy sounds. No exhaust leaks. I think I have myself a really nice, really healthy 2000 Porsche Carrera 4, six speed. It's, it does have the huge, you know, the huge wheels. Do they detract from the value or do they, do they add? I'm gonna let you guys decide. You know, I think always stock is best. Um, also not stock 
is the KNN filter here. But again, that is a performance part. This is a performance car. Uh, does that hurt the value? I don't think so. I think the value is still right where it's at, uh, which is current market is, uh, this is a this is a twenty five thousand dollar car actually in the current market. Price is actually twenty four nine nine six, because it is it is a black on black, convertible Carrera four four wheel drive. I will fix the headlights. I will fix the fuel gauge. We're gonna get a new leather wrap dash on eBay. They're three hundred thirty bucks. You can choose the color of the stitching, and we are gonna have a very very nice example. And I'm only into it 13.8. The body is very nice. Body's good, a little curb rash. Beautiful wheels. It's got a system. It's got a nice Sony system with the audio file or what have you, amp and sub. I have not even I have not even messed with the convertible top because uh, <laughs> if that thing goes down and then doesn't come up, you, you've got a whole other can of worms. So I'm focusing on mechanical, changing the oil. Let's sh let's show you the interior of this filter here. I mean, just just spreading the fins, you can see. Completely clean. Completely clean. And the other way you tell is you get your oil catch pan here and you look at it. You look, you take it out, you look at it in the light. And uh, if there's glitter, your IMS is going. If the oil's clean, you're fine. And I'm fine. In this purchase, I'm fine. I think it's a beautiful car. It is not. An SL55 AMG, however, it's not a Mercedes. On my Mercedes, everything works. There's one flap in the convertible top that now is like having an issue staying up. So my top won't open because of the stupid flap. But but this one, I've already I already see a window regulator that won't go up. It'll go down, but it wouldn't come up. So that already tells me the top's going to be given some kind of trouble. But otherwise, otherwise we have a very clean car. Um, I'm trying to think what other issues, headlights, fuel gauge. Otherwise, mechanically, there's no check engine light, the clutch, everything is amazing. It's strong, engine to, to, to drivetrain strong. Little kind of, little details. Anyway, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Hope you like the purchase.